Can it be said that how cognitive science is related to artificial intelligence is how they make each other better? Is this a fact? If so, when is their relationship? Let's find out as we discuss how cognitive science is related to artificial intelligence. The main goal of artificial intelligence is to investigate the creation of hardware and software that exhibit intelligent behavior. Cognitive science and AI are integrated to provide a deeper understanding of human cognition and communication. Additionally, the understanding of AI solutions and applications in engineering psychology is being applied by technical and creative skills. For instance, knowledge of brain synapses and neurons aids in developing artificial neurons in artificial neural networks. Although technical and creative skills apply to comprehending AI, cognitive scientists draw on disciplines like psychology and many other fields that will be discussed soon. Engineering psychology and cognitive science are creating ties to study human performance in this special issue. The term cognitive science today refers to the study of all aspects of the mind. It encompasses various academic disciplines such as linguistics, anthropology, artificial intelligence, philosophy, education, and neuroscience. Cognitive science is interdisciplinary, the study of the mind, and specifically the study of the mind through an information processing lens. It looks at cognition's makeup, objectives, and purposes. Research in cognitive science focuses on the representation, processing, and transformation of information by neural systems as it relates to intelligence and behavior, perception, language, memory, attention, reasoning, and emotion are among the mental processes that cognitive scientists are interested in. Cognitive scientists draw on disciplines like psychology, artificial intelligence, philosophy, neuroscience, linguistics, and anthropology to better understand these processes. Since the 1800s, several scholars have been looking for universal yet distinct aspects of the human mind, bringing psychology into sharper focus. As this idea is thought to be an indicator of reaction to a particular stimulus, cognitive science was first discussed in psychology in the 1930s. With time, computer models that could simulate different levels of human thought were developed to support this subject. Cognitive scientists focus on how the central nervous system processes, transforms, and represents information as they research behavior and intelligence. The goal of cognitive science is to comprehend the fundamentals of intelligence to enable an improved understanding of the mind and learning. Additionally, artificial intelligence is a computerized system that mimics human intelligence. This could be why Nick Bostrom said, machine intelligence is the last invention that humanity will ever need to make. This made it possible to gather knowledge and use applicable laws to get a firm judgment, so self-correction might be encouraged. Though artificial intelligence mimics human intelligence, many attempts to develop artificial intelligence have failed. Let's discuss this later. AI in Cognitive Science the branch of AI that was first developed focused on the cognitive behavior of robots. But as technology advanced, AI was able to include cognitive science theories and concentrate on how humans, animals, and machines all store knowledge. As a result, voice or emotion detection, learning, planning, problem solving, and reasoning have all become possible with intelligent machines. In terms of positive forecasts, classical AI techniques had a limited range of applications which was made possible by the development of cognitive robots over time. According to their theories, cognitive robots have a broad range of cognitive abilities. These robots are capable of carrying out ambiguous jobs without assistance from people. Oh, wait, this is interesting. These robots could learn and react appropriately to difficult situations by integrating a specialized processing architecture. However, given the extensive use of prediction systems like artificial neural networks, knowledge acquisition has not yet been fully investigated. A paradigm in computer science called symbolic modeling effectively utilizes knowledge-based systems and blends them with a philosophical viewpoint. Using Scottish online appraisal resource, SOAR, research into models of intelligence resembling that of humans began in the early 1990s. Contrarily, Sub-symbolic modeling uses neural network models and is predicated on the idea that the brain comprises several simple nodes. 
As a result, the ability to solve problems is derived from the link between these nodes. As a result, many methods of constructing the mind are simulating, ranging from the development of artificial neurons to the representation of the mind as a collection of symbols, rules, and plans. Research in AI is broken down into subfields that concentrate on certain applications, issues, methodologies, or tools. Reasoning, knowledge, planning, learning, natural language processing, communication, perception, and the capacity to move and manipulate objects are AI research's main issues or objectives. One of the long-term goals of the area is general intelligence. Approaches include statistical techniques, computational intelligence, soft computing, machine learning, and conventional symbolic AI. AI employs a wide range of tools, including iterations of search and mathematical optimization, logic, approaches based on chance, and economics. Artificial intelligence draws on computer science, mathematics, psychology, linguistics, philosophy, neuroscience, and artificial psychology. The premise of the area is that human intelligence can be so thoroughly characterized that a machine may be constructed to imitate it. This brings up philosophical discussions regarding the nature of the mind and the morality of creating artificial beings endowed with human-like intellect, topics studied by myth, fiction, and philosophy since antiquity. Many attempts to develop artificial intelligence have failed, including the Automatic Language Processing Advisory Committee ALPAC, report from 1966, the abandoning of perceptrons in 1970, the Lytho report from 1973, and the collapse of the Lisp machine market in 1987. AI approaches have become a crucial component of the technology sector in the 21st century, aiding in resolving many difficult issues in computer science. It seems evident that reinforcement learning, as we know it in psychology, is the source of reinforcement learning in AI, and deep learning, which makes use of artificial neural networks, is now at the heart of AI. Human brain networks serve as a model for these artificial neural networks. These artificial neural networks held much promise, especially in the 1980s, though more in cognitive science than in artificial intelligence at the time. In other words, cognitive science and AI are still a current relationship, and they lie in the present and the future more than ever. If AI and cognitive science make each other better or are interrelated, why then will it be very hard for the world to be taken over by robots? Let's find that out in our video, why robots will have a hard time replacing humans.